Hey everyone, this is Zach at FF Chalupa Batman. This is Fantasy and Frames. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the great content coming out every week from the team. We are here for Beat the Waiver Wire for week six. So the whole point of the show, quick five, six minute video going over some players that you should pick up now that are rostered in less than 50% of ESPN leagues that you can put in your team for free. Let's see what they do. And then if they don't pan out, you drop them. So again, the whole point of this is to hopefully land somebody before they go off, before there's an injury, and you don't have to pay up during the waiver wire. So I wanted to go over some hits that we've had so far in the season. Now, understand that there's going to be a lot more misses because these guys are on the waiver wire for a reason. You're getting them for free for a reason. But when you do hit, you can see how you can profit. So week one, uh, before week one started to get you ready for week two, I told you to pick up Gerald Everett. And he was only rostered in 12.8% of leagues at that time. Look at him now. Before week two, so this would have been getting ready for week three though, but before the week two games, Khalil Herbert was only 28.5% rostered. I recommended you pick him up after he had a decent amount of work the first week, and I wanted to see how it was going to go. Right before the week three games, to get you ready for week four, I told you to pick up Tyler Algier when he was 18.5% rostered. And obviously we cannot predict injury, but that's why you want to pick up these types of players for free because you never know when someone ahead of them is going to get injured. And now you could be starting Tyler Algier for the next few weeks. And then right before week four to get you ready for week five, so this was last week, I told you to pick up Romeo Dobbs. Now he was 44% rostered. So a lot of people had him, but in half the leagues on ESPN, you still could have picked him up for free. And now you're probably starting him in your flex, maybe your wide receiver two or wide receiver three position, depending on how your rosters are set. That is why you need to listen to this every week. Subscribe now, like the video if you find this helpful so that we can help you win championships. All right, so let's get into the beat the waiver wire for week six. At quarterback, Geno Smith, he is 31.5% rostered right now. Per StatMuse, the only QB with 75% completion rate, 1,000 yards, and five passing touchdowns in the entire NFL is Geno Smith. He's actually at a 77.3% completion rate. He has 1,037 yards, and he's got six passing touchdowns. He is currently the QB 10 in fantasy points with 21.5 points per game and six points per, pa per passing touchdown leagues. Go get yourself some Geno Smith. He's got a tough matchup this week at New Orleans. That's okay. You don't need to start him this week. Pick him up. Let's see how he plays. And maybe you can swing him into your rosters in the next week or two as we get into bye weeks. Coming up literally for week six. All right. At running back, Rashad White. He was on the list uh, earlier. I talked about him a couple weeks ago. And then I talked about him again. Uh, yeah, it was a couple times now. So we're seeing him get more work. He had, he's 23.2% rostered right now. That's too low. He had a season-high 38 snap share in week four. He seemed to be playing one drive for every two of four net drives. But that's okay because he wasn't coming out in situations. He got the entire drive. He stayed on the field near the goal line, and he even scored from the one-yard line last, last week. That's what you want to see. He is the type of running back that has a league-winning potential if Fournette gets injured for any amount of time. That is the exact type of player you need to be picking up right now before week five games start and stash him on your bench. All right, wide receiver, Devin Duvernay. You actually might be able to start him this week. He's only 22.7% rostered in ESPN. Rashad Bateman has a mid-foot injury. He's already ruled out for week five. We really don't know anything about this injury. The Ravens said it's not Liz Frank. Kind of sounds like Liz Frank to me. I always get concerned when you hear mid-foot. So we don't know how long Bateman's going to be out. Could be one week, could be several weeks. Go get Devin Duvernay. He's now the wide receiver one for the Ravens. He's tied for third amongst all wide receivers with three touchdowns, and he has a 92.3% reception rate with a 12.5 A dot. So it's not like he's just getting little bunny passes to boost up his reception rate. He's getting passes down the field. Get yourself Dever Duvernay. You can even start him this week. At tight end, we're going to repeat from last week because his roster percentage isn't high enough. Tyler Conklin, 47.5% roster, so he's still available in over half the leagues. He's tied for seventh amongst tight ends with targets per game at 7.3, fifth for tight end receptions with 21, 
That's only three behind Mark Andrews. He's ninth in tight end yards, 192. And in week four, Zach Wilson was back. Conklin had his least amount of targets this season with five, but that was still one behind the team's target leader with six that week. So let's see which direction his targets go this week. And let's see if they start trending back in the right direction. But go ahead and at least stash Tyler Conklin, but you could start him against Miami. And finally, your bonus player. He has been uh, talked about on this show before, but I wanted to highlight him again. Brian Robinson. He's only 42.8% rostered. He is now activated from IR. He is available to play in week five. I have no idea how much he's going to play coming back from uh, multiple gunshot wounds. We're glad he's okay. We're just happy to see him back. But let's see how he looks. Stash him on your bench for now. Let's see how his workload shakes out over the next few weeks. And he could become the running back carry leader at some point for the commanders. So that is everyone for this week. Thank you all for tuning in. Like I said, please subscribe to the Fantasy and Frames YouTube channel. You're watching it right now. Go ahead, like the video. Comment if you want me to talk about anybody else or if you think I'm missing somebody. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. My goal is to help you all win. The best way to win is churn the end of your roster. So that way you're always getting these guys for free before they hit. So thanks again, guys. Please check out the website, fantasyandframes.com, for all of our amazing articles to help you win your matchups every week. We put out a lot of great content. We have shows for Redraft, for Dynasty, for IDP, for DFS. We have it all color covered with the Fantasy and Frames team. So again, my name is Zach. You can follow me at FF Chalupa Batman on Twitter. Thank you all. Have a great one.